Welcome to Websites for Beginners. My name is JP and in this video we look at the block collections and how you can change the layouts in Stackable. If you've used Stackable before from version 1 or version 2, you will know that there has been a considerable change in how certain blocks are approached in version 3. These are called, what are they called? Section blocks. And there are, as I look on the website, nine of them. Essentially what a central block is, it is a collection of smaller blocks combined into one container block. I think the best example here is probably the hero block. And if we look here at a block example of it, you will see that the hero block consists out of various blocks or elements combined. Here you have a heading, then you have text, you have a button, as well as you have a background section. And that is what is understood behind a section block. It is a preset of smaller blocks combined. And the best way for you to understand what I'm talking about is to bring in a block. Let's click here, browse all. And as you scroll down in the inspector, you'll find stackable here at the bottom and we look for the hero block over here. Click and it will drop onto the page. Here you are presented with six formats and layouts that you can go with to set up this hero block for you. And this is a nice preset that you can start with. And I find that in most cases, I do very few changes when I use them. In this case, I will start with a center overlay. And when I select it, you will see immediately that it creates a block for me. If we go to the list view, you can also have a look at how this is set out for you. All the way to the bottom, you have the euro, then you have a heading, you have a text, and then you have a button group with a button inside it. So if you want to have a second button, you can do that very easily. And that is the section block. If you think about it, it's actually a normal columns container with a heading and a text. It's just made easily as a preset, and it allows you to move these elements inside around to your heart's content. If I wanted this text to be above my heading, I can select the text, I'll click on the up arrow, and very easily move it around. Whereas previously in version two and version one, these guys were fixed, you couldn't do anything about them. But recall that when we brought in this Euro block, we had that option of default layouts. Now, what if, Afterwards, you think, hmm, I would have liked to try one of the others. Well, now within Stackable, you can go and change the layout. Make sure you select the parent container, which in this case is the Euro. You will see it says Euro here in the list view. And you can also see here in the inspector on the right, on the block, it will say Euro. This way, you know it is selected. Your queue will be here on the options toolbar that you have this option here that's named Reset Layout. Select this, and now we go back to these default settings or these presets that you can choose from. And now I can play around with Half Overlay, and it will move it around. And similar, if we just go to Half, you can see how it updates in real time. You can still change the content, but take into consideration that if you've added other blocks or if you've moved them around like I did earlier, it may not update 100% properly, but you still have this option to have a look at how this will look in different layouts. That is the euro. Let's add one more just for our reference. And in this case, which one shall we choose? Let's go down. And I think let's go for something like a testimonial or a block quote. Yeah, let's go for block quote. This is also a section block. You can see again here, I have five. I can start with the default, then I have simple, highlighted, huge, or centered quote. Let's start with simple. And this will give us a block quote, nice little piece of text there with these huge quotation marks. Then later on, I'm like, mm, let me see what else can be done here. Make sure that you select the parent container, and then you go to your reset layout, and then let's choose centered quote and you can cycle through all of these options very easily and have a look at what's going to fit your design the best. Love this feature. Remember, if you want to know more about Stackable, you can follow the link in the description below. 
learn a little bit more about the section blocks, which are very flexible and easy to use to build out your website with. And then this new great feature to reset the layout or change it for the section blocks. From me, JB, go well and stay safe.